Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and yes, I'm back again with one of my manifestation videos. Today we're going to talk about simple crystals that you can carry around with you to bring in money, to bring in abundance in all different ways. Now these are crystals that you can wear around your neck, on your arm, place them in your wallet or your pocketbook, or just place them around your house to attract abundance. Now listen, this video is quick, so I'm asking you to watch this video all the way to the end because you guys know I just love to throw in tips. Don't forget to support this channel by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. I'm back everyone. Like wow, you know this is my topic because you guys know I love crystals. Now, there are certain crystals that you can carry around with you that actually help vibrate and bring in abundance. Now, there's crystals for many different reasons, but today we're going to talk about bringing in that money, bringing in that abundance, whether it's a promotion or whatever you want. These are the crystals that I would carry around with me. Now, you don't have to carry all of these crystals. Just pick one or two or maybe three. I don't care. You might even want to place them in a money bag and just use this to carry your crystals around with you. It could just be one crystal. It is up to you. Be creative, okay, you guys? Now, the first crystal that I would tell you that I would carry around with me if I was trying to attract abundance, and that would be a pyrite, you guys. It's also called Fool's Gold. This crystal right here is known to bring in abundance. Not only that, it is a crystal of protection, you guys. So you are being protected from whatever else is going on around you. Now, the next crystal that I would tell you that you can carry around with you because we're talking about the pyrite. So the next two crystals go along right along with the pyrite because they all offer protection and at the same time, it brings in abundance, success, money, and whatever else you're looking for. And that would be the black tourmaline. The black tourmaline is a crystal that I choose to wear all the time. Okay? So not only do it repel negativity, protects you from negativity, but at the same time, it brings in su success and abundance. Now, to go along with the black tourmaline would be my tiger's eye, you guys. And you guys know, I tell you in many videos that I don't leave home without my tiger's eye. Because again, it's for courage, it's for success, it's for protection. Whatever you want to think about the tiger is basically represented in this crystal, okay? Now, the next crystal that I would like to talk about is one that is basically for abundance, you guys. It's for bringing in that money, that abundance, that promotion, and that would be the green aventurine. This is a crystal that I choose most of the time to either wear for abundance or or I would basically place it in a money bag or a money jar. Now, another crystal that goes along right along with the green aventurine, and that would be the jade, everyone. The jade, this is known for abundance, everyone. And this is a crystal that I would say would be on my top list to bring in abundance. Now, the next crystal a lot of people don't know about and that would be the sunstone, you guys. The sunstone is a crystal that helps things grow, okay, you guys? So when you're talking about your money or you're talking about your career, uh, whatever it is, a wedding, a marriage, whatever, the sunstone would be the crystal that you might want to carry along with you. You might even want it to be a piece of jewelry or a bracelet, whatever it is. You might want to wear or carry the sunstone. Now, another crystal that I would say if you have a business and you want this crystal to help bring in abundance in your business, and that would be a um, bloodstone, everyone. This is a bloodstone. And for me, this right here would be a crystal that me, I would place in my cash register, okay, or wear it all the time. Bloodstone is not only for healing and health, it is also to help bring in abundance. Again, a lot of people place this crystal in their cash register. Now, the next crystal that everyone knows about is the citrine, you guys. This is the crystal of money. This is the crystal for the merchants, for the people that have a business, that have a physical location. 
you might want to get a small citrine, a big citrine, and place it in your um, business, your storefront, your office. You might want to place this in your wallet. You might want to place this by your front door. The citrine is the crystal that is known to bring in abundance. Now, for the citrine, I tell most people, place this crystal in the wealth corner of your house, as per feng shui. You can place this in the far left corner of your house, in your bedroom, your living room, whatever, but it goes in your far left corner of your house and that is your wealth corner to bring in abundance. I have a few of these crystals in a bowl by my front door as decoration to bring in abundance with all other different things. Now, to add in a little bonus to this, for those of you that are still here, the clear crystal quartz is the crystal that you might want to carry with you with whatever crystal you have or is using. Why? Because this is the master crystal and it is it will supercharge whatever it is near. So, okay, so if you're carrying around a green aventurine, you might want to combine it with a clear crystal quartz. If you're carrying it in a coil, you might want to carry it and combine it with a clear crystal quartz. You might want to carry a clear crystal quartz bracelet and also a, a green aventurine. Now, these are little simple examples that I'm giving to you guys to let you know how these things work. If you're looking for abundance, okay, you can carry the crystals as a bracelet on your left arm, working within to change your vibration to attract abundance, okay? If you're looking for business and you're trying to bring in customers, you can also place it on your right arm where you're sending out and bringing it back in. It is just that simple, you guys. So now listen, I just gave you guys multiple crystals that you can use to basically attract and bring in money and abundance. Now listen, you can also anoint these crystals with money attracting oil. You can place them in a bag. You can combine things in the bag, like a little basil, maybe a little note stating whatever it is you want done. Now for those of you that are still here, I'm gonna throw in one extra tip. Don't forget to cleanse your crystals before you start using it. You can use holy water. You can use Florida water. You can use running water just by letting the water run on the crystal. I need you to hold the crystal in your receiving hand and then state what it is that you desire for this crystal to do. You can program each one of the crystals. And if you're using a couple of them, you can program them at the same time. So now listen. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you want any of these things, please look in the description. If you want to join like-minded friends, we are here live every Sunday morning. Again, this is Yvette and namaste.